Hey guys, Clyde here at uh, Leechburg Lights. Hey, uh, I wanted to do this uh, video tonight. Um, it's a little late. I just got home from work, but uh, um, you know, it's never too late to do a video, right? You know, and and not 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 only that, but it's been quite a while since I've uh, done any kind of videos. But I have had uh, a, a number of requests for purchasing 2015 sequences from uh, Leechburg Lights that I ran. And uh, I am uh, more than happy to uh, accept the donation, especially in my current circumstances. I'd be uh, happy with anything that anybody would be willing to donate for any of my sequences. And I thank those who have uh, done so. Uh, and and what, I, what I wanted to do was I wanted to create this video to help answer some questions, get people started with opening somebody else's sequences and how I usually go about it. Uh, if you do purchase a sequence uh, that is X lights only, and this doesn't have anything to do with light aroma, this is only dealing with X lights. So what I'm going to do is I I'm going to show you uh, a peek inside my media drive here. I have all my sequence backups uh, in here. And I'm going to go into my X Lights backup. I have a final 2015 backup. And uh, we're going to select my last backup made, which was the uh, 11th of January 2016. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to select one sequence that I'm going to uh, send out to somebody. And that one would be let's go to D for Drummer Boy. Uh, I'm going what I'm going to do is I right click on it and I'm going to copy and then I created a new folder on my desktop um, in this folder I'm just going to open this up I'm going to snap this over here and I'm going to move this over here a little bit and I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to paste after that's pasted that's a copy that's a good copy of the uh, sequence that I'm going to uh, send out to someone Along with that, what I'll uh, what what I'll also include is a copy of my uh, xlights underscore network dot xml file. This network uh, file matches exactly with, and I'm going to copy here. Right click and copy, and then I'm going to paste. This matches the exact setup that this drummer boy sequence has listed for all of the props and the models and so forth. So. Um, it kind of helps to have that so that you don't get an error when you open up my sequence uh, and try to play it back. And then I'm going to go down here to this other XML file. These are the three files that I will send. xlights underscore RGB file. And we will copy and right click and we will paste. Now whenever you get these in an email or if you download them from the website from me, these three just keep them in the same file like I I created this file right here now lastly is the mp3 um, I highly recommend you purchasing them off of Amazon but for game's sake I'm going to go into my nutcracker folder and I'm going to find uh, and typically I ask that you purchase these but uh, if there's one such as this one this is little drummer boy the little drummer boy. Uh, where are you? You're around here somewhere. Oh, well, how about I look for the right file? MP3 format. Here we go. That usually helps. So we're looking for this song is edited, and that's in the title. Right click, and I'm going to copy this. And uh, if it is edited, I will include it that way you don't have to worry about it uh, but I do ask that you go I usually go to Amazon you can go wherever to pick up your mp3 and uh, but whenever they're edited I'll definitely uh, uh, send it with it so uh, those three files plus the song are exactly what this sequence needs in order to play now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and close this out we'll close this out and now we're going to open up xlights4 and we're going to link this new xlights folder to the xlights sequencer now let's go ahead and change we're we're in our setup tab right here we're going to change 
our Dropbox to the desktop. I'm going to go over here to desktop and I'm going to look for new NEW. Where are you at? We're on the desktop. We should. Here we go. New X Lights folder. I'm going to select that, click OK. Now I'm also going to change my media directory to there too because that's where the, the media is. Whenever I'm done with that, we can click Save Setup. That'll save the setup. It usually saves upon exit. And then I'm going to go to Open. Open a sequence. And now you see the three files, the three XML files that are available open. You can open the sequence that you purchased. Click Open. And you should see the Sequencer tab pop up. Now my whole house preview pops up on that screen. I'll just I'll make that a little smaller. And I'll come over here and I'll see we have our waveform we have all of the bars and beats all the all the different timing tracks that I've added in and then of course all of the sequencing that uh, was done throughout the entire uh, song so if you go in the mega tree has a couple uh, layers to it there's a couple layers in there that did some pretty neat things I didn't really overdo the mega tree in this song the the big song the big part of this one was the uh, was the star uh, that this this was uh, the peak star is what I featured in this song that was where all the sequencing was so with that in mind now we can click render and to render this sequence there's a lot to it so um, what you're going to see is uh, that rendering takes a few minutes I'm going to pause this and bring it back up. Okay, it said 46 seconds it took to uh, do the render. Now, I'm currently, I haven't updated anything past the new 2016. I'm still using version 4.3.01. I know we're at version 4, 2016 one. I, I don't even know. I'm, I'm so far behind in, in updating my software, and I'm not worried about it because everybody's coming through with a lot of great stuff. But I wanted you to be able to see that you could open this up if you have those three files. Here is the actual house preview. If I just click on here, it'll you can you can clearly see the uh, sequence is playing. If uh, I have the music playing in my headset right now, so it's a little hard. It, it's not going to be something you can see at the moment, but. Uh, I hope this helps guys. If you have any questions, then just uh, go ahead and shoot me a line. I am a little behind in getting back to people and my apologies for that. Just so much is going on here at Leechburg Lights on the inside of the house and uh, uh, I once again I appreciate all the support that I've seen and felt uh, and received over the past uh, few months. So thanks a lot guys. I hope you uh, enjoy the video. Let me know what you think and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks. Take care.